Hello and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. No, wait a second, I'm not doing new makeup releases. I call this you don't need that shit, what the fuck, but we're talking about new makeup releases. And to be honest, the last week was a bit, it was a bit, um, slow. Can we say that this was a slow week? Because I feel like not a lot has been announced or released and I don't think that is a bad thing. I do still have 23 safe posts, but I think some of them are double. Yeah, definitely some of them are double. And most of them, to be honest, are quite boring. So let's get right into it. So Bobbi Brown has released their like a new collection that is called the Disco Drama and Eyeshadow Palette set, where you have like the most boring eyeshadow palette. Then they have shadow stick set, um, duos of eyeshadows. I think it's like uh, their holiday releases, the holiday collection sets. One is with uh, one lipstick and two glosses. To be honest, um, nothing I'm actually interested in. It is just no. The only thing that I think is actually uh, nice is the face base duo. Like you get two full size of vitamin enriched E face base, vitamin E enriched, what if, you know what I mean, the face base that I also love. You get two of these for $95, and I think one is usually around 60 or 70, so I think that's a good deal. At least in Germany, they do sell for around 65 euro. So you, you can save some money um, if this is your only primer or only moisturizer. For me, it's a primer, but I love that. Other than that, it's like boring. Kayali has introduced their Oud Gasm collection that contains four Oud scents. Vanilla Oud, Café Oud, Rose Oud, and Tobacco Oud. And to be honest, everything that I read here is speaking to me. So I truly hope that this is coming not only in four full-size bottles, maybe an Oud collection where you get four 10 milliliter bottles of them. I will buy that but not the big ones because I just don't know how they smell. I did grab the newer um, 10 milliliter set that had the apple Eden or Eden apple scent, vanilla, um, invite only, and there was a fourth in there, but I don't know which one, but I like all four of them. I love the pistachio one. That's the only one that I have in a big size. So I would really, really love to get this as a full collection in a 10 milliliter bottle. That would be awesome. They look so sexy. Mm. All of these sound so good. Need that. Please, Kayali, do this in a collection. So Anastasia Beverly Hills is not only coming out with a new highlighter, they also are coming out with new palettes. Like, come on. First of all, your fall romance is shit. I am about to film a declutter video, or like I'm doing a declutter series currently. So the first will be up this week, which is going to be foundations. But I will also declutter eyeshadow and chances are very high that I will declutter fall romance because this is just an insult to my life, this palette. I don't even know what to say about this because this is a nine pen modern renaissance and a nine pen sultry palette. And as far as I can see, it's the same shades but they just reduced it from 14 to nine. If it is also the same quality, um, yeah, you can close down the brand. Let them rest in peace. I know that Modern Renaissance is still to this day a favorite, but you know, usually when brands do this and they try to revamp an old palette in a new way, it never, never works out. It always fails. So, uh, no, thank you. Colourpop has released the most boring collection ever, which has a 12 pen neutral eyeshadow palette, shadow sticks, blushes, lipsticks. I am surprised on how good the comments are. Like they are shitting their pants, but at the same time are hating other brands for doing that. So, so the thing is that I just um, thought about, if you are a neutral girl, why are you interested in this? You 100% have this. If you're not a neutral girl, why the fuck are you interested in this? Because you're not a neutral girl, you don't need that. I am a mixed person, I love neutrals, I love bolts, I love everything in makeup, but um, this palette is so not speaking to me. So, no, thank you. I can easy skip that. Bare Minerals is coming out with um, micro defining brow pencils. They will be out, okay, no date yet, coming soon to bareminerals.com. And it's like the triangular shaped pencil. To be honest, I don't understand this because it seems like the taupe one looks green. What the fuck? 
and self-sharpening. How should that work? It just does not work because with those triangular shaped pants sets, you will always end up with weird shapes and they don't work anymore after four uses maximum. I don't like the shape um, and I also don't like the colors. Five shades, five shades also look a bit, I don't know, like not enough. And I have to say that out of those five shades, two look very similar. One with a green undertone, one with not a green undertone, but they're like the same. And then there are the other two browns that are also the same. And then there is a black or a dark brown. No, uh, easy skip. This is hard. MAC is coming out with their holiday release. First shot of the Bizarre Blizzard Batch Buck. Oh, first B B Bizarre Blizzard Bach. What's the English name for Bach? B-A-C-H. Is it Bach? Because you cannot say Ch. Ch is a German-like sound. But this collection has, oh, this has a lot. Oh, fuck you, this has a, a fucking lot. So I see different makeup pouches that come with like in, in different sets. Then new lipsticks. Um, then they're new lipsticks. It feels like I don't know. They have like a new packaging that is silver and then colored in the top. Then different sets where you get trios and duos, brush sets, fix plus. But what is really exciting is actually the eyeshadow palettes. The two six pens, not so much. Um, because one color story is warm golden and the other one is rosy mauve brown with a pop of blue, like what the fuck's going on? But the palette that you see here in this picture, the 12th pan with the blues, I try to not tell you that I'm interested. The thing is, these connect, I think this is the same format as the connect and color, so these connect and color things. I have one that is embedded in burgundy, it's a six pan palette. I like that one, it's beautiful. But the 12th pan, I had a neutral one that literally hurt my life because the quality was so shit. So this is definitely a wait for review. And I also wanna see the outside because there is no picture of like what the palette is looking on top. Oh, and they have a frosted blur face primer. Like, do you get ice crystals on your face or what the fuck's going on? Let's see, I'm pretty sure that Teresa then is going to review this because she's like on a feud with Mac. <laughs> I feel like she's always insulted with them. So Patrick Mould or Moldrick Ta or Patrick Ta is coming out with the new multi-dimensional eye topper in gold sparkle and white sparkle that is called Giving Luxury and Giving Rich. First of all, I hate these TikTok names, but I have to admit, even though I always make fun of Patrick Ta because of the mold issue. And we will talk about the brand this week in the brand review because this whole phase is Patrick Ta and we will talk in depth about the drama. But I have to admit, if they come to Cold Beauty, I would probably buy them. This is a product I'm interested in. And I hate to admit that because I always make fun of Patrick Ta, but again, my feelings for the brand and my feelings for the product, when we separate this, I'm actually excited about these. Uh, the Sephora collection has a new eyeshadow palette and to be honest, this could not be more boring. This is a palette with 16 shades and matte glitter, metallic finishes, colorful, festive look. Uh, why does this palette look so 2020? I don't know. I feel like this year's theme is definitely cool tones. Grays, cool tones, blues, ice is the this year's theme, but not this. I mean, just because you throw in two blues and some pinks, just no. No, I'm, I'm not interested at all. Fenty has also announced their new um, gloss set. Every year they do have like a gloss vault where you get three full-size glosses for a very good price. This time it's called um, the Gloss Posse Volume 6 full-size trio and you get Fenty Glow, Pink Dragonfly and Glass Slipper Heat. And I'm not interested. None of these shades look good, sorry. Lita Cosmetics also came out with the new 2-Up collection. If you remember last year, they had the 1-Up collection that is like gaming related. And this time it is a Game Boy inspired palette. 
I will so not get this because the palette design drives me fucking nuts. And in addition to that, they also have um, one of the 10 uh, water activated liners. So they never had these. I think they look pretty, pretty good, but I do have enough of them. I do have three Suva Beauty palettes and two Glisten Cosmetics palettes. That's more than enough. But I, I'm pretty sure that the quality of these will be awesome. So if you're interested in that, maybe check out um, the Lethal Cosmetics one because they look good. I like Retro Wave, Psycho Pop, oh, Jiggy Jam, oh, Digital Dream. Let's be honest, they all look good. Let's talk about this. Before we get into the drama portion of this video, <laughs> my personal opinion. Blend Bunny is coming out with the new Sickly Sweet palette. It's 30 pans of pastels. And she writes, the request for a fully pastel palette has been consistent and persistent. Every time I open up questions in my story, I'm asked at least five times if I'll be doing a full pastel palette. So I obviously had to. So when I started to design this palette, I realized gradients were necessary and that it was incredibly freeing and fun to me. I love the more chaotic feel. And for a theme, the usual things come to mind. Ethereal, cloud, fairies, unicorns, bubble. It wasn't what I wanted for my palette, so it hit me. Sugar, cotton, candy, frosting, cutesy parties, ruffles, and all things precious. But what? But what good are only pastel with a few deepening shades? I threw in a deep gray, some dusty deep tones, and others in that fat right. And the twists developed. Cutesy, sugar-fueled party gone wrong, belly aches, temper tantrums, blues, and grumpiness. Sickly sweet was born. And adding a little skull to the cotton candy and absolute cherry on top of my creative high. I tried to include as many tone variations as pastels as possible in deepening shades that could bring some depth to any combinations. The shimmers for duochromes and two sparkly standards that just add exactly what's needed. I'm not a pastel eyeshadow girl, so this is an easy skip for me. I want to point out the fact that I love the theme. I love the fact that this palette is finally not color coordinated because as she wrote, the gradients do not make sense so much in a pastel palette. And then I went into the comments after I saw a story from Blend Bunny where she pointed out some things and I just needed to read these comments and I was left with this disgusting feeling in my gut that I'm just wondering constantly what the fuck is wrong with people. Let me just read you some of that. I absolutely hate this layout. But that is okay, as I don't need a palette. I do hope you decide you want to go back to color gradients. I've seen photo of this rearranged and I find it so much more appealing. While I find this one jumbled one, while I find this jumbled one stressful. I love the way uh, Blend Bunny Cosmetics, I always forget how, she, how she's called, is it Maggie? Is her name Maggie? But like the brand, how they, um, how they answered and she wrote, I appreciate your feedback, but I really feel like uh, using the word hate to someone, to something someone has created is that strong. <laughs> is her fucking palette. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. I personally, I dislike the layout of the Lethal Cosmetics palette. It drives me nuts, but I'm not writing, I hate this. But you know, and although, I even forgot what I said about the Lethal Cosmetics palette. Did I even use the word hate? I mean, if I did, so like, I'm ranting, but I'm not going to the Lethal Cosmetics website or writing it in an email or, an, or a comment on their post and say, oh, I hate this palette. I hope you like, get your mind together and do something better for me because I'm a special snowflake shit, bullshit bitch. You know what I hate? I hate pastels. <laughs> I hate pastel colors. I don't like pastel eyeshadows. That is okay. But do I feel the need to write that in a comment? Like, oh my God, I hate pastels so much and I really wish that you could back to real colors. That is what I mean. It is just so dumb. Somebody comment, all you Marie Kondo organized people, this is your, uh, this is your palette to let loose. Sometimes in life you need a little case and this one's a beautiful one. I love that comment. That is, that's beautiful. Oh my God. Somebody is writing, so this is the Halloween palette, right? Because it's a horror for a person suffering from OCD. How the fuck have you people lived before Blend Bunny? 
every single palette that I own that is not labeled Blind Bunny or recently Nomad Cosmetics is not color coordinated. Here, are the pants magnetic or are they glued in? Answer, same thought exactly because I will need to rearrange this chaos ASAP. I love the pastels but definitely need to arrange this. <laughs> this this comment is cool. Just tested positive for COVID this morning and after seeing this palette I'm suddenly cured. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice compliment. I feel like I have read 17 comments if this palette is magnetic. To be entirely honest, I prefer your usual layout because more accessible to colorblind and sight impaired people. What the fuck? Should we look after... Again, like... Today's you have to like look after every single little bit of pittiness that somebody should have. You know what? I'm going to call Lethal Cosmetics because I feel insulted by the brand because it's not, um, it's not accessible for somebody who never in their childhood played with a Game Boy. Do you know how stupid you, you sound like when you do comments like that? Are you aware of that? Enough for the rant. To me, personally, um, I don't like pastels. That's why I decluttered the Natasha Denona pastel palette after a few uses. I see how this palette can serve a nice spot as my companion palette, but I just know that out of a 30 pan pastel palette like this, I would not get a lot of use out. That is just not my personal preference. I like the color story, I like the layout, and if this would not have been a pastel, I probably would have bought this, but you know what? Because I'm a grown adult, this is just not a palette targeted towards me. And I cannot wait for all those people who buy this palette to see your beautiful looks, but I can admire these from afar. Uh, <laughs> do you remember I talked a few videos ago, a few You Don't Need That Shits ago, I talked about the Sugar Plum Twinkle Highlighter that was announced from Benefit in the beginning of 2023 because I only found the Honey Bee Twinkle and now they come out with a palette that has the Pom Pom Blush and the Sugar Plum Twinkle Highlighter. It is already available at Sephora and um, I ordered it. Next, please. So Unearthly Cosmetics has their like um, fall release, the Dever, the Dever set. This has um, a highlighter duo, some lip stuff, and of course an eyeshadow palette. And do you know what I thought immediately when I saw the eyeshadow palette? This is what we wanted to have from Fall Romance. Um, not going to buy this. This is not for me. I like Unearthly Cosmetics as a brand. I do have two palettes from them. I think two. I like their quality, but the palette is not for me, and the rest of the collection is also not for me, so it's an easy skip. Gloss Gods Cosmetic uh, teased something new. It's that time of the year where we go icy and spicy, can you guess what's coming? And in the background you see bags. I hope it's not bags. I hope it's a new palette, maybe a themed around ice and winter with blues and ice and whites and silver and sparkles. <gasps> I'm sorry I just passed out a minute, but if that would be the case, I would buy this because they are really good. I have seven palettes from Glass Gods and they're all just stunning. Lisa Aldridge is coming out or did already come out with a beauty bag made with Liberty Fabric. I don't know what Liberty Fabric is. Um, I also don't care about makeup bags. I don't like it, but do you know what happened? <laughs> the release of the makeup bag made me go to the Lisa Aldridge website and do you know what I saw there? They had Myth back in stock and I ordered it. Also expect some looks with the Myth palette that I've now finally got. And I also picked up one of these seamless uh, eye pencil in the golden shade. So L'Occitane has now released their advent calendar for dryness and loss of firmness and elasticity. <laughs> so that is basically the targeted audience for this calendar. It is $80 and you get minis mainly. Yeah, it's minis, I think. I used to use L'Occitane years ago as a hand cream, then I got a rash from the hand cream, never used them again, but I know that they're an MLM now, so not supporting that. And last but not least, and yes, I saved that for the last, um, lastly week, lastly week, oh, last week we talked about the Odin's Eye announcement and 
it is the Halloween collection. They collab with Angelica Nyquist again and they um, brought out five lip products actually and two eyeshadow palettes. I actually got the full bundle and I cannot wait to try the palettes. I have to admit the lip products are not for me but if you follow me on Instagram you might see what I will do with them. Hint, it's a giveaway. Uh, but it's only European, but I have not hosted it yet because I don't have the stuff, but it's like your personal sneak peek. Do you know what I'm talking about? Basically, I will give away the lip products as soon as they arrive at my house because I don't like the colors, but I like the whole theming of the palette. And when we have the palettes here, or I and I do my looks with them, <laughs> believe me, we are going to talk about the drama that is surrounding this launch because it is like, it is hilarious. We have insulting, we have racism, we have people telling the brand that they're dumb, um, we have uh, a campaign against Dolan's Eye, it's wild. So I mean, there were more releases this week, but these were the ones that kind of tickled me. The other ones were like, meh, boring, I don't care. So that's basically it for today's video. As I said, don't forget to check out the info box down below so you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, support the channel if you want, because I love pizza. And Please do not forget to subscribe, otherwise you would miss the brand review. You would also miss how we cover the drama on Owen's Eye and you would also miss the way I declutter and get very emotional when I part with makeup because I'm apparently not normal. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.